Oh, hey, YouTube. Hey, everybody on X. It's Chuck. It's time for unprotected left hand turns. Let's get them going. We are on FSD beta supervised 12.4.3. Uh, and the uh, ADAS drivers have been in the neighborhood testing, uh, according to Elon, 12.5. So this version may be dead for the world and they're working on 12.5. But in any case, let's get some unprotected left-hand turns knocked out, uh, see how it does. It's uh, 7.23 in the morning, a little bit early. Uh, I'm going to try to knock these out and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, here we go. Round one. I wish I could get that media uh, thing to turn away, but I don't know how to do it yet. So, if anybody knows how to make it go away, pay attention to the road, Chuck. All right, there's our NHTSA stop. Okay, good traffic. This is uh, 7.30 in the morning. This might be a great time to test. It needs to wait right here. There's a tiny gap, uh, and I'm clear from the right. So if it gives me a good boost, I'm gonna let it go. Oh, it's just, oh God, no, no. Go, 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 go. Okay, that was as close, and it needs to stop. Oh, God, I almost disengaged there. Did you see that car go around me? Um, he was coming so fast. Oh, God, that pre-roll. Did you see him go around me? I ah, It did it, but two cars had to go around me from the way I behaved. Um, that was uncomfortable. I have to tell you, it was uncomfortable. Um, but it did it. This is this could be a harrowing uh, morning. Um, it stayed in the lanes. I'm sure from the drone, it probably was like, oh, it was fine. I'm just telling you how fast those cars were coming and how uncertain I was that it was going to stop on time. My foot was on the brake, but man, did it do it precisely. So either that was an amazing job uh, and the driver needs to get used to it, or um, it was a little too close for the oncoming cars. I would have preferred it to not go in that first gap but it did it and it gave me the right boost. But I wasn't confident enough that it was gonna not leave my tail out like it did yesterday. Uh, it did leave my tail out a little bit and the car was coming so fast that it couldn't cheat. But it definitely pre-rolled into that car on that oncoming lane uh, at an uncomfortable amount that that car had to go around me. All right, let's lock, knock out another one. Uh, this could be an interesting morning. All right guys, here we go, round two. Um, yeah. I got to get my uh, mind caged right. That was a little, um, I, I haven't driven this much traffic recently. All right, there, okay, there's a great first gap here. After this one car, it should go right now, but there's cars coming from the right, so it needs to wait. But it needs to get into the median comfortably. Okay, and it can go right now perfectly. That was perfect. It did not, there's a weird pause happening twice now after it gets into the lane. It gets into the left lane and merges to the middle lane. That is a much better behavior than when it used to go directly into the middle lane. So Tesla, good job. That is a noted behavior change. You're going into the closest lane and you're merging into the middle lane. Um, it did not pre-roll into that oncoming car like it did the last one. Now, it may have pre-rolled on the last one because it knew its butt was sticking out. That's assuming a lot. But that may have been why it was trying to get out of the uh, the median is because it, it was aware that its rear end was sticking out. We'll have to test that a little bit more. I'm not ready to say that's what happened yet. All right, let's try another one. Okay, here we go, round three. That last one was a good one, but it was a little easier than the first one. The first one was good too, but it was a little harrowing. Uh, all right, there's our NHTSA stop. I'm just trying to give you guys a view from the left and I'm looking left and right. Okay, we got another gimme here on the left. So it's a wide open gap right now. Let's see how it handles this left one. It can roll it because the left lane is open. It decided to wait and then it's jumping out into the left lane. Oh, see that pause again? That's three times in a row. It just does this pause and then it goes into the middle lane. All right, so that is a new behavior. Uh, it's probably part of going into the middle lane um, functionality. But three times in a row, it's merging into the closest lane. Good job. But it's accelerating, braking, and then changing into the right lane without any need to do the braking. Um, so Tesla, if you see that, maybe just take note of it. That is definitely uh, three times in a row I'm feeling it. Um, but good job on merging into the left lane and then merging over. That is That will give you many, many more opportunities to jump into traffic. Um, as long as you use the right acceleration boost in that left lane, once you jump into that closest lane, you really kind of need to go because the cars that are coming up behind you may have been beyond your visual range and you just need to accelerate up to the speed limit 
uh, aggressively. That would be what I would do. Uh, take it or leave it. In any case, let's go try another one. All right, here we go. I think this is round four. Try to knock out as many of these as I can this morning. I got an appointment coming up uh, at eight o'clock, so I don't have a lot of time, but let's see. All right. Okay, we need to wait. Okay, there's a, I would call it a medium gap, and it's going to go for it after this car, but it needs to fit in the median because the closest car, roll it, roll it, roll it. Oh, it stopped when it didn't need to. Let's see if it breaks again. Oh, oh I, it's a very aggressive break there. That break is going to get us in trouble. It did it with no cars behind us. Um, we're going to need to find out if it does it even when a car is coming from behind us, um, only because it's doing it every single time. It's definitely part of the lane changing timing, I think. Um, it, but, for those of you that know how to read the CAN bus on my videos, look at the acceleration in the lateral axis um, there and, and see if you can see it. In any case, let's try another one. Okay, I wanted to jump out in front of this car, behind this car here, just to give it a little bit of variation. Uh, I might be missing the slug of traffic. Okay, he just jumped to the right. Now there's my NHTSA stop. So it's still stopping appropriately, uh, according to NHTSA. And now there's my creep. And it's wide open to the left. Yeah, so I did miss my traffic. Okay, a fast approaching car from the right. There's a car in the middle lane. It's waiting on the middle lane, it looked like. Now it's joining the left lane. And there's the tug. Um, I, you could probably even see the regen on that. And it stayed in the left lane this time. Interesting, there's not a car behind me. So that, that's the first time it didn't jump into the left and the middle lane after that braking tug. Um, that braking tug in my mind, uh, I don't, well, I don't know whether or not that's an issue large enough to uh, withhold a release, um, but it's an unexpected behavior. And that makes you want to have the conversation, how did that behavior get in there? Did that behavior come because of a clip where a driver or 10 drivers did that? Were the ADAS drivers on this turn doing that? How did that tug get in there? It is not something that you would normally do. Um, but it begs the question, how did an end neural network put that in there unless they have now split the model into functions somehow and there's this pause in there, much like the double green light bug, if you guys remember that, the double green light bug had this unexpected pause between two green lights just because of the way the car was shifting from one green light to the next based on map data. That's the way that tug feels. It's like an uncomfortable pause while it waits uh, until the next thing. Okay. Let's try another one. Okay, now I'm jumped out behind a trailer and look at this. This trailer is gonna try to do an unprotected left-hand turn. It is a truck with a trailer. So those of you that think that this is a crazy intersection, I would call that crazy because there's no way he can go unless he can roll the whole thing. But people around here do this all the time. It's just the way it works. And, and this traffic is coming so much, I, I, maybe I should have gone in front of it, but just to have you watch while I talk, especially with the overhead view, to see that this is a common behavior here. Call it crazy or not, there is a traffic light just one block down um, where he could be going. But look at this, he's rolling it, went just fine. Now granted, he could not use the median and he knew that, so he was just gonna sit here until it was clear both ways. And now here's our chance, it needs to go. There's a fast approaching car, but we need to get into the median and we need to stop without sticking out. Perfect, that was really good. That position in the, oh my God, that pause, that was bad. That went down to 18. All right, so these unprotected lefts, while mechanically are good, that pause is actually bad enough to make me think this is not good. It's doing the maneuver, that was a perfect maneuver. It was a small gap, it fit in the median appropriately, it did not pre-roll onto that car. And you know, honestly, that pre-roll now that I had on the first one is making me think it realized it needed to get its rear end out of the road for that fast on oncoming car. The more I think about it, uh, it, it, it didn't pre-roll on that one. Anyway, I'm learning a lot on this. Uh, 12 dot, you know, um, three dot, what is it, 12 dot, four dot three, I gotta get all these numbers in my head. Is, is doing pretty good, except for that new weird tug after it merges in. Um, the lane commits are good. The, uh, the, the gaps it's going for is good. The acceleration is good. I, I still wish it was doing a right and then a left turn with a question mark shape into the median to give a little bit more room. Uh, it's not doing that, but um, yeah. All right, let's try another one. All right, here we go. 
There's a car behind me this time. I almost waited to jump behind him again, but since I jumped behind traffic twice, I figured I would get out here and face the traffic first. And, oh God, if it goes, it needs to commit. Wow. And it rolled it. Another really, really good one. And here's the pause. And it didn't pause that time. Okay, there was no traffic behind me that time and it did not tug. That's the first time out of all of these it didn't tug. Um, okay, now I'm confused. Well, it didn't change lanes either. So maybe the tug is part of the lane change, in, in fact. Uh, so put that together. It, listen, the commits on this are really, really good. It's making good decisions timing. It's not lagging. The reason I was nervous on that one is because it was a small gap. And historically, if it questions itself at all and does not commit, that pause makes that gap close. On this version so far, it has not second guessed itself. If it saw a gap, it went for it. That makes me as the safety driver feel comfortable that I don't need to worry about the decisions it's making. I have the same thing when I'm flying with young pilots or even student pilots when I was much, much younger. You know, if you show me what you're doing and I know what to expect, I, I trust that you're going to do uh, what you're supposed to do. That's the same feeling I have right now when the car doesn't do that. Oh, ooh, maybe. Oh, no. Tug. And all these little creeps and second guesses and quick breakings. Um, hopefully that made sense. Uh, let's see if we can knock out a couple more. Here we go again. Looks like we've got a lot of traffic from the right this time. And it's a stop, creeping on out. Okay, a lot of traffic here from the left. So it's got to wait. This is good. Okay, there's a, a car with its lights coming that has a what I would call a medium gap. It can fit, and it cannot go from the right. So it's going to go now. Oh, oh, see that little pause? Okay, it went. It was fine. Now, it is good after this car that was a picture except for that tug that tug right there is new but that was a picture perfect timing maneuver getting in there was no car right behind me and that has not happened yet but it that that tug once it joins the lane is still a problem but that was a perfectly executed timing of a join the median proceed from the median into the traffic uh, so Tesla, good job on that. And if we can build off of this and go forward, we're really, really getting close. This is what I would call medium to heavy traffic day. Some of those were light, but some of these have been medium to heavy. Um, and the timing gaps are, are very small and critical. And you're committing on the on the turn, which is which is awesome. That time you tugged once, though, I will say that time you tugged once. It was interesting. I think you tugged once because of the oncoming cars from the right, not from the left. Anyway, let's try another one. All right, guys, that's it for today. Sorry, I, I got to run for this appointment. I just checked. I only got a few minutes left. In any case, I think that was a good, uh, good um, version of Unprotected Lefts. It did really, really good. I didn't disengage any uh, today. That first one scared me a bit, but it did it. Uh, the biggest problem in this release is the the uh, the tug or the the deceleration joining the uh, left lane. Uh, as soon as you leave the median, but you're joining the left lane at least, and then you're merging into the middle lane. That's the behavior we want. So take a look at that tug if you can, Tesla, and uh, let's move on from here. Have a great day, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this content.